they put me on the table and they were like, okay, it's time to push. I was like, no, 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 no. If my husband is not here, I'm not pushing. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Valentina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to sit down and talk about birth experience. I know that sometimes there's this disappointment about the birth experience and I sort of experienced it. We plan like a natural uh, birth in the birth center. We went to visit the birth center from uh, I think the 37 weeks, 38 weeks, 38 weeks. Uh, check we went to the birth center so uh, we would have familiarized with the environment and with the midwife we loved it it was beautiful it's like being in a private hospital but it's not private it's all from the nhs it's very very small there is a very limited amount of rooms and the rooms are all private you have your own bathroom we knew when we went to visit the birth center we knew that that was the type of birth experience that we wanted unfortunately because of a series of events that has not been possible. I studied with my uh, labor at two o'clock in the morning on the 12th of February. I knew it was labor. I could feel it. I was 41 plus five weeks pregnant. It was Saturday and Technically, on the Monday, I should have gone to the, the hospital to get induction. So on the 12th, I studied with the contractions at 2 a.m. We had the worst, the worst night of my life because I kept waking up every contraction. They were still bearable. At 8 a.m., I woke up Yogi. I was like, look, the labor has started. I'm pretty sure she's going to come today. I basically did the whole labor at home. What they told me when uh, I was uh, going to the visits was when the labor starts, you're going to call us when you have three contractions within 10 minutes and each contraction lasts 50 seconds to a minute. So I stuck to that and I was like, you know, the contractions started to get closer together and a little bit stronger, but then they did not meet the parameters that the midwives gave me. So for me, it was the first baby. I was like, I don't know, is this the pain I'm supposed to feel? I don't know. At one point, I started to proper feel them. They started to get quite close together. And mostly, they started to get very, very, very painful to the point where I had to go on my hands and knees. I didn't take anything. They were like, if you want, take paracetamol. And they told me that I was just like, if I had them in front of me, I would have thrown the phone at them. I'm in labor. Paracetamol is not going to do anything. It does nothing to me when I have a headache. So it's not gonna do anything for like labor pain i think I've, I've handled it pretty well till like the early afternoon when it was like early afternoon is when i i started to ask my husband to get me those hot pads to put on uh, my lower back because it's where i felt all the pain yogi was massaging my lower back i think it was around six o'clock or six thirty. i told yogi look the, we have to go just call the birth center tell them we're going uh, and the plan was actually doing the labor and then eventually the delivery in the water because they have these big bathtubs for each delivery room. Thank God that we got in the cab when it was not peak time because I think I would have delivered the baby in the cab otherwise. That poor cab driver got the scare of his life. By the time that he arrived, my water had broke and I needed to push. Eventually we go to the hospital. Thank God there was a wheelchair. We got to the birth center. They checked me straight away. I was 10 centimeters elated. They were like, okay, it's time to push. They checked the baby, but unfortunately her heartbeat was dropping to 80 and it was not going back up. So they rushed me to the labor ward. Uh, and the good thing about this birth center. So I delivered at the Queen's Charlotte Hospital in London. The good thing about this birth center, and that's why we picked this one, is that the birth center was in the same building, basically right under the labor and delivery ward. The birth center is run just by, mid by midwives. This part happened so quickly that we were just so confused. It was so chaotic. Yogi is one that keeps it cool all the time. I think I've never seen him more scared and more worried and more confused so they just put me on a wheelchair and they just rushed me upstairs i found myself in a delivery room with like so many lights on me they told me they didn't give me anything i just needed to push so there was no time for a there was no time for anything we got 
to the world when there was the um, change of shift. So there was double the doctors, double the nurses, double the midwives that there would normally be. Yogi told me that there was the alarm going off from the room where I was, but they didn't let him in straight away. He had a moment of panic and he was like, I just started crying and I started praying. They put me on the table and they were like, okay, it's time to push. I was like, no, 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 no. If my husband is not here, I'm not pushing. <laughs> After literally like 30 seconds, he just came out of nowhere. He was like, oh, I'm here. And I was like, okay, now I can push. It didn't take long. She was born at 8.03. It was very, very scary because basically they had to use the vacuum. Do you call it the vacuum? To pull her out because like I'm tiny, okay? I'm a little bit over five feet tall. She was 3.5 kilos and she was quite long. She was a big baby when she was born. She needed to come out because she was starting to suffer and she pooped while she was coming out. I needed help to get her out as quick as possible. After 16 hours of labor, she was with us. Oh, sorry, 18, 18 hours of labor, which I think it's, a long labor but at the same time like first labors can last like one day two days so i think all in all being quite lucky after i delivered the baby they told me that i had a very bad tear i had a 3b tear which means that it was from the vagina all the way not all the way and it got like a little bit of the perineum they had to give me quite a few stitches internal and external there's physiotherapy involved if you get that many stitches the, the outcome is that your baby's with you and she's healthy it's just the best feeling in the world the moment they put a they put her or him in your arms it hit me a little bit afterwards a couple of days after i was like oh you know like i'm so so happy that she's here but i really wanted to have like I'm a bit disappointed about this experience because I had all of this vision. It's something that people don't really talk about when you have a birth experience that is not really what you were expecting. Yes, you did have your baby. Uh, and that's like, again, the best feeling in the world, the best thing that could have happened to us. But at the same time, for example, like my husband was quite quite traumatized i'm not gonna lie he has three kids from his previous marriage and he said that none of those experiences was like is comparable to what happened with uh, the with my my birth experience I was like I don't, I don't think that i can handle this one more time and i was like you know what i don't think that i would let myself get to the point where I got without going to the hospital sooner. If I went to the hospital like a couple of hours sooner, I think we would have had a completely different birth experience. There's a lot of women that deal with disappointment from the birth experience. If you're a new mom and you just gave birth and your birth experience was not what you were expecting, the disappointment is gonna go. At the end of the day, you have your baby in your arms and that is all that matters. I'm feeling good right now. This was my birth experience, guys. Leave a comment down below and share your birth experience. Let me know if it would be interesting for you uh, hearing the perspective from the partner side after the baby is born the dad always get almost gets pushed out of the picture and no one really cares about what the dad feels and how the dad feels all of the emotions from the dad side let me know if it is if uh, this is something that may interest you because i haven't seen much from the dad perspective this is it for today's video guys i hope you did enjoy it don't forget to like it subscribe to the channel share the video follow me on my social media channels the links are down below i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i'll see you again next sunday Mwah. bye